unusually high foreclosures have left the country in the worst housing downturn since World War II. Congress approves an historic bailout bill. President George Bush has already signed the revised $700 billion bailout. The bailout money was supposed to be used to jumpstart the economy by re-energizing lending. But some of the banks can't tell you what they did with it. Some of them won't tell you. They're protecting their interests on Wall Street. And here on Main Street, the so-called bailout that they were given hasn't trickled down. My parents decided to buy a larger home. So we thought that my mom would not qualify. You know, she wasn't making a lot of money. So we had planned on going into the loan together, her, my dad, and myself. But when we um, actually went to do all the paperwork and all this stuff, they said that, you know, she was okay, she would qualify. The Jose Hernandez family is a good example. If the bank or the broker had taken into account uh, Jose's salary and the dad's salary and the sister's salary, along with the mom's salary, they would have qualified for a prime mortgage. But no, the bank actually told them, we're only going to take into account your mom's $10 an hour salary. And, that, and, they, and with that income, she can't afford anything but this kind of a mortgage. Anyone who has any kind of knowledge about finances would know that was bound to explode down the road. And because of people that just wanted to make easy money, we're, we're stuck. Families wanted a piece of the American dream. They wanted to buy a house. And as it turned out, they were really led down the path of uh, financial entrapment. There are 16 investigations into mortgage, some prime lending companies currently ongoing, while there are more than 1,200 investigations into mortgage fraud. Some of these homeowners, or potential homeowners, had good credit history. However, because the bankers and the investors could make more money from a subprime mortgages, mortgage, these homeowners were steered into a subprime mortgage. The investigation is part of a much larger probe into the subprime mortgage meltdown. People didn't understand that the financial information pro submitted for them uh, was false. Many people were represented as um, business owners who weren't. Many of these home buyers also have limited English capacity. In many cases, the contract is in Spanish except for the part describing the adjustable mortgages. <laughs> the very part that is kind of like the bite in the whole contract or the hook in the contract, that very part is left in English. I asked him, well, how is this loan going to work? He said, well, it's going to be a fixed loan for 30 years. But when I went back to sign, he gave me different paperwork. And now in March, my rate goes up. We asked for a fixed rate after refinancing, but they committed a fraud and they set us up again with an adjustable rate. The community really believed that when the bailout came about that the lenders would in fact work with community to help them in the foreclosure and that's not been done at all. Banks have seen it, it fit to use the money to buy other banks simply to put into their savings or to grant these, these uh, bonuses they've, they've given to their, to their officials. But let me tell you, when we gave them money, when we give the, gave the banks money, money, they still weren't loaning any money. Uh, we definitely felt alone. We were like, oh my God, we are the only people dealing with this problem. What we've seen over and over again is that um, homeowners individually stand almost no chance to get a significant modification of their loans. But once, you know, Mary Immaculate got involved and the organizations got involved, it brought the community together and we realized, you know, we're not alone. There are a lot of us going through the same problem. One LA is an organization with a unique political strategy on how to create political change based upon the strength of organized people. Having organized the community in cohorts by servicer or lender, we're hoping that we come to some common agreements. Because as a community, we've learned how to get organized. Together, they've felt that energy to fight to keep their homes. I hereby call the 1LA Assembly to order. Know that these are not stories of victims, but the stories of leaders. This is not a natural disaster, but this is a man-made disaster. Those who are responsible ought to fix it.
This is not just a question about homes. This is a question about children, about parents, about uh, the, the integrity of the family. We have come together and we're fighting for our homes and we're fighting for our American dream.